Back in the day, we were allowed to grow our trunks without conviction or restriction, but the second our limbs began producing fruit, they were cut off, mangled, severed, strangled, the reading, writing, and arithmetic from those pigmented angels, so there we stood, a forest with no leaves, leaving no shade from the heat for those black bodies, if we aren't producing fruit, are we really even trees, let's take a vote, I'm unsure, three fifths did agree that the greed that could imprison us all wasn't even our own, but our creed could qualify our roots to be uprooted, now we plant with no seeds, we breathe, roll up our sleeves, work day and night, and then at night still hit these knees, my questions indeed, how can a slave trust in God and believe, cause Solomon North was your 12s as a slave, they couldn't have been me, for the first time I was beat, my faith would be beat, you make your bed you lie in it but i did not supply these sheets at night i sleep on a bed cold as ice no sleep how can a slave trust in a shepherd when he's a mistreating sheep or was my savior when i'm in need when my soul began to plead when my back began to bleed when my children were ripped for me can't you see the devil never wore prada he wears black people's self-esteem that he is ripped from us daily leaving us naked in the streets so let the white man tell it we are no longer humans we are beasts we are beasts who can't pick up a rifle, illiterate beasts who can't read the Bible. We are beasts who will never be written in the Lamb's Book of Life unless there was a typo. You know, a devil-minded man is unstable in all his ways, but did a devil-minded God make me and my ancestors slaves? Were we victims of his rage? Were we targets of his hate? How can my ancestors believe in God? Just my question still remains. Just my question still remains. Just my question still remains. But I guess my job isn't to ask questions. I guess my job is just to pray.